this segment, we are going to look at vectors in one dimension. Vectors in one dimension. Let's so proceed with our vectors. In one dimension. What do we mean by vectors in one dimension? These are vectors that are in a single line that you can also refer to as linear, any straight line, right? So they act in that single straight line. But at the end of the day, we need now to combine different individual vectors into what we call a resultant, a resultant vector in one dimension. So what do we do? This is what is called a resultant It is a single vector that has the same effect as two or more vectors combined together. That is the same effect as two or more vectors combined. We call that the result. Let's consider this situation. We have a vector going in that direction. Remember, we represent our vectors using arrows. Right? The arrow is a tail. This part is the tail. This part, we call it a head, that is the head, the pointed part. So the tail itself is showing us the magnitude of the vector. That is the magnitude of the size of the vector. Then the pointed part, which is the head, is showing us the direction of that particular vector. So let us say this vector is 7 newtons. It's a force of how much? Seven meters. Then, in the same line, we have another vector, say, of two meters. Looking closely at those two vectors, they are going in the same direction. So, what do we do to those vectors to get our result? We simply join or add together. Choose a positive direction in 
this case. You choose a positive energy. So I can choose in one of those vectors. Is my positive energy. Right? So let us say I take two neutral as a positive. Mean this one becomes negative. So I'm going to have minus seven and two two. Minus seven neutrons and the two two neutrons. And I am going to have a result. That result is going to be equal to if I add these two, it's going to be equal to the negative. Meaning my resultant will go in the direction of the seven neutron vector. So it is going to face this direction. But now it's slightly reduced in magnitude. It is now what? Uh, five neutrons. And this minus sign simply showing us that it is not going in our chosen positive direction. But it is going in the opposite, which is what? The negative. So it's going in the direction of the same neutron force. That's what, what we do when vectors are acting in a line. What we call linear vectors. Right? So in our next segment, we are going to look at a situation where the vectors are acting in two dimensions. Right? The one that we normally refer to as planar vectors. They act in a plane, in a plane like uh, the surface of a table. Right? They are not acting uh, in a line, but only what? Only plane. So that is what we're going to look at in the next uh, lesson. Thank you very much.